Hey guys, welcome back to THFE. This is Psychoduck, and I'm here finally with another competitive map feature. Today I want to show you guys a map called Breakwater, which was created primarily by Flying Shoe, but with a bit of help from Mock Mizzle as well. And as you'd expect for a map created by these guys, Breakwater is a big team battle map. Uh, it's going to play best with 6v6 games, but you can also play 7v7 or even 5v5 matches on here. And this is a uh, map that plays for one flag at its core. Uh, the map is really designed around one flag CTF. Uh, and of course we'll have the download link for that in the description. But uh, the map incorporates a lot of elements from uh, previous maps Shu has made in the past. So I kind of told you guys uh, a couple weeks ago my story about Cargo Port and uh, the various iterations I made on that concept. Uh, Shu's kind of done something similar, so he started with this map called Embarcadero back in Reach and has iterated on that concept quite a bit and finally ended up with Breakwater, which is a very different map from the original, but uh, it actually does incorporate a lot of similar elements. And it really incorporates a ton of different things that Shu has learned just over the years of forging BTB maps in general. Um, so one interesting thing you're going to notice about Breakwater is that even though it's designed around this one-sided objective mode, the map isn't actually terribly asymmetrical. There's actually several symmetrical elements, but uh, the way it plays is actually very cool. So Breakwater is set in this urban setting uh, with a canal dividing the center of the map, which is not only a cool aesthetic, but makes a big difference on gameplay. Um, the map has uh, some piers, uh, like some docks, and uh, some other cool features around the map as well. So that central canal is really cool because it divides the map and it uh, kind of controls the routes across it in interesting ways. So first of all you get the uh, rocket platform right in the middle of the canal. And not only is this platform really exposed uh, from multiple sight lines, including from the uh, sight lines from where the sniper rifles spawn, because there's two sniper rifles that kind of spawn on opposing corners of the map, but uh, you know, so, so there's all these sight lines on the rockets, but uh, also you have to jump over the canal to get them. And, uh, you know, if you're in the middle of a firefight, that's not always easy. So those rockets are highly contested, very dangerous, very risky, but very, very rewarding uh, to counter the vehicles on the map. And speaking of vehicles, there's a lot of cool uh, things to do in vehicles. So it's not just a simple circuit where you're going to drive around in circles. Uh, there's several vehicle jumps over the canal, uh, and the way they work is actually very cool because they kind of create this directional flow for vehicles where from the attacker spawn there's a hog jump right over the canal it takes it just directly across right over the rockets plops you on the other side but from the defender side of the canal there's actually this two-way jump which uh, takes you down at an angle into this little uh, route that loops through the bottom of the canal and plops you back behind the attacker base and like i said that is a two-way jump so you can go off it uh, from the attacker side as well and it just create some interesting routes you can take in the hog and uh, using the warthogs as a support vehicle is very cool on here and of course you can also get flag rounds in the hog if you're lucky but you're typically going to be doing that on foot so another uh, important feature of this map is the gold building which is a central skyscraper uh, which is not only a very recognizable landmark because it's this very tall large and pretty cool looking building um, that sits at the back of the map, but uh, it is a very important position to hold, both for the attackers and the defenders. So it has some great sight lines over the defender base where the flag spawns, but it also has some sight lines over uh, you know, various flag routes and the actual flag return point. So it's very uh, important to hold this position for either team. A lot of the times when you see attackers fail to pull the enemy flag, it's because they're forgetting to hold or, or sorry, gold and uh, you know so you definitely want to hold that. Gold also has this cool little tunnel behind it which is accessible for warthogs um, and the gravity hammer actually spawns back there so you can have a lot of fun whacking hogs right off the map with that weapon. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. So uh, the attackers actually spawn, um, the attackers and defenders almost spawn kind of catty, catty corner across the map um, and the attackers spawn in this structure which is called the fish house uh, which is kind of funny and uh, you know they just have this nice little backfield secure spawning area and the defenders have the same thing and then each team has this big platform out in front of their main spawn 
and for the attackers that platform houses the flag return point, for the defenders that houses the flag itself. And the defender's flag platform is actually this very powerful position. And like I say, holding gold is really important, or using hogs as support, all very important for breaking a hold on that flag platform, because it is a very powerful position, it's got some height advantage, and it's got some great sight lines to other parts of the map. Uh, so you're not going to just waltz in there and grab the flag and go, you're going to have to coordinate a push on there where you're really thinking about holding different positions on the map to counter that. Um, Another uh, interesting area on this map is sort of the uh, purple and green area, which is sort of opposing the gold building. And while the gold building provides this like big, powerful position, the purple and green area is more about offering players a few different routes across the canal. So they kind of have this skinny little uh, walkway across it, which is pretty exposed, but is a nice quick route. There's a bridge that's accessible to the hogs, and then there's a few different jumps, and then those buildings are important positions uh, to hold, but you know, not quite to the extent as gold. They're more about movement rather than actually holding them. Uh, and there's also this cool little route that goes under uh, purple and uh, plops you out behind the docks, which gives you this cool flanking position on the defender's base. So there's a lot of detail in the routes on this map, and there's lots of cool geometry and whatnot that you can use. Uh, the docks are really interesting to push up, uh, and they're just kind of different. Um, so something that Shu really thought about when designing this map was how in Halo 4, in One Flag CTF, in the past we've seen that uh, flag movement is actually a bit easier than it has been in other games, thanks to the auto pickup feature and the flag mode. So she wanted to make sure that the flag carrier was not too empowered. He wanted to make sure that he really had to rely on support from his team and to make it so throwing bodies on the flag to move it wasn't as viable of a strategy as it might have been on some other maps like Embark. Um, so that's why the uh, flag return platform is very exposed and there's a lot of thought given to the different routes on this map and how the travel times balance out and how the sight lines balance out and whatnot. So, it's a fantastic map for one flag. It's also a lot of fun for two site extraction, if you guys want to check that out. And uh, we're working on getting it to work for a modded territories variant, but there was some, uh, there were a few spawning issues last time we tried that. But uh, that should be an option in the future as well. So this is a, a fantastic asymmetrical big team map. Lots of fun. You can play Slayer on it if you want, but uh, I would recommend those objective games. And uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend you guys go check it out. It is a great map, as you would expect from Shu. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. This has been PsychoDuck with THFE. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.